Thanks for clicking on the link. Nano Neuro Ninja. Neuro Ninja knowledge in a minute or two. Rock one, sleep. Really important. Encoding memory, cleaning our brain, reducing anxiety, increasing willpower, building resilience. Well-being rocks are all about building the best version of ourselves every day. Did you know, for example, if you get less than six hours sleep, you've got 30% less memory available the next day? Did you know you'd be more anxious the next day, more emotional and more socially clumsy, so more likely to cheese your friends off and then overthink that outcome? 70% of our immune cells are built at night. Our blood sugar and blood pressure are reset at night. So it's a whole body and brain experience. North of six hours, ideally seven or eight hours sleep every single night. So how can you improve your sleep? You can go to the Neuro Ninja Learning Hub. You can link up with a coach one-to-one. You can follow this net. A net is a group of behaviors that will improve our experience. Thread one is making sure that we've got a nice, dark, cool bedroom with no distractions or tech in sleep hygiene. Monitor our sleep. Just rate the quality of our sleep. Three stars, a really good night's sleep. One star, a rubbish night's sleep. Um, You don't need an app to do this. Perhaps make a a rough note of how many hours sleep. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be perfect. But just a rough idea so you can see the, the, the current situation with your sleep, good and bad. Build in a wind down hour at the end of the day to take you from the sympathetic nervous system activation of the day to the calm down system. The most powerful way of getting regular good quality sleep is go to bed at the same time, get up at the same time in line with your body's circadian rhythm and the sleep pressure that will send you to sleep as well. So which threads are you going to work on? If you are a year 13, 18 year old, the first point, cut alcohol before sleep. For any other student south of 18, not an issue because obviously you don't drink alcohol. Caffeine, not having caffeine after lunchtime is helpful because caffeine is the same shape as chemicals of fatigue. So it blocks the action of tiredness. Build more exercise and movement to calm you down, to tire you out, to relieve some of the pressure and the stress. Process your emotions and try and leave a gap between when you finish eating and when you go to bed. Ideally about three hours because one process will disrupt the other. Thanks for listening.